Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is day two of me reviewing another YouTuber's favorite product. So for episode two, I decided to do Tiffany from Makeup by Tiffany D. Now if you have watched YouTube for years and years and years, then you know who she is. She is super OG. She's been on YouTube for like 12 years or something. And I have been a follower or subscriber of hers for years since like she first started. So it's been really cool to watch her grow over the years. And she's always recommended some really fun things and really good products. So I thought I would pick six items from her most recent favorites and give them a try. So if you want to see what I picked out and what my thoughts are, then keep on watching. So the first product I decided to try was the Chanel cleansing oil and typically with cleansing oils or balms I always find them to be too thick, too heavy, too greasy for me but this one really intrigued me because the consistency is a lot thinner than ones that I've normally tried. I don't know if you can see but it's very very thin so I decided to give this one a try and I really like it. It was very moisturizing. So once I rinsed it off with water, my skin felt very soft. It felt very hydrated. I didn't feel like it stripped my skin at all. And then I just proceeded with my cleanser. And after using my cleanser, before I put on any of my skincare products, my skin felt so hydrated, so clean, and it didn't have any tightness to it. I really, really liked this, and this will definitely be a repurchase for me. I think it is $45, so it is an investment, but I genuinely really loved this. So next up is the Tatcha Violet C Radiance Mask, and it's kind of cool. It has like a purplish color to it. Not really much of a scent. Um, I did give this a try a couple times because I'm always in the... Uh, market for a good mask, especially when it comes to radiance, with it being really dry and winter time, you kind of need to find that glow. Um, so I did try this and I have to say I didn't like it. I don't know why, but after using it a few times, I just felt like my skin looked the same. I didn't notice any radiance or glow after using this product. So for me, this was kind of a bust. I wouldn't repurchase this product, but if you wanted to try this product, give it a try. Maybe it'll work for you, but it was a flop for me. So the next beauty item I decided to try was this Chanel bronzer. It is in the shade medium deep. It does come with a brush, but this is what the color looks like. It's really, really beautiful. I have it on my skin today. Now on the back of the packaging, it says a healthy glow luminous color, um, but when I look at it, there really is no shimmer or shine to it. It does look pretty matte, but on the skin, it just looks really, really pretty. I think it gives you a really healthy glow and it just looks very natural and that's what I really like about it. Um, spending this much on a bronzer, I don't know if it's worth it all the time, but I probably would repurchase this one, especially on the days when I just want very natural makeup. So next up, I have three hair care products that I decided to try. So after a lot of success with Amanda's recommendations, when Tiffany recommended the Colleen Rothschild Quench and Shine Restorative Shampoo, I had to give it a try. Um, it says it's for all hair types and it says that this shampoo is an ultra hydrating color safe shampoo infused with moringa oil and shea butter to lock in moisture and add lustrous shine without weighing the hair down. Biotin and niacinamide deliver essential nourishment leaving hair feeling restored, healthy, and strong. Designed for everyday use, paraben and sulfate free, which is perfect. So when I pick out shampoos, I always look for color safe. I always look for paraben free, sulfate free because I do color my hair. I do do keratin treatments. And so when I spend the money on those two things, I really like to protect my hair so that they will last as long as possible. Another thing that really intrigued me about this shampoo is that it has Moringa oil. Now Moringa oil or just the ingredient Moringa is one of the hottest ingredients right now on the market in the beauty world. 
you're seeing it pop up in beauty care products to hair care to skin care. It's really a potent, powerful product. I know I was in vitamin shop the other day and they even have Moringa um, powder that you can add to smoothies. It's kind of like a hair, skin, and nails best friend. So I decided to give this shampoo a try. I really enjoyed this shampoo. What I liked about it was that after I shampooed my hair, my hair felt very clean, but it had this softness and this butterness to it that I've never really experienced using another shampoo. Now, mind you, this was just after using the shampoo. I didn't apply conditioner or anything like that, but my hair just felt very soft and very clean. Now, like I mentioned in my other video, which if you haven't seen that, I will link it down below, but I did mention that the scent from Colleen Rothschild hair products is very strong. It's a very floral musk scent, which isn't really my vibe, but besides the fragrance, I would repurchase this shampoo again just because I loved the way my hair felt. I thought the price point on this shampoo also was very reasonable. It was only $28 for 13.5 fluid ounces. So I thought that was a great deal. For those of you that are looking strictly for vegan products, I couldn't find anything to say that this was vegan, um, but it is paraben sulfate free and it is color safe. So if you are looking for a new shampoo, I would give this one a try. Unless you are very sensitive to fragrance, then you may not like this because the fragrance is very strong. So the next product I picked up was from Kerastase. It is their Polishing Nourishing Milk, and it is basically like a blow dry primer. It has heat protectant in it. And I know that Tiffany has finer hair than me, so I decided to give this one a try because I knew it would be lightweight. I know she doesn't like heavy products in her hair just for the way that she styles it and because she has finer hair. I have to say I really liked this one. It was a very light consistency. I did pair it with some other products the last few times I've used it. When I get new hair products, I like to just use the new products by themselves nothing else added because I want to see what it feels like in the hair. I want to see how it blow dries. So the first few times I used this, I just had this in my hair and my hair felt so silky smooth. It made my blow dry a lot quicker. It was really, really surprising. I really enjoyed this product a lot. Now, yesterday when I washed my hair, I added this product in and then I added some of my Orbe oil on the ends and my hair just feels really, really silky and smooth and soft today. So I've really been enjoying this. And then the next hair care product that I tried is the Whey Heat Protection Spray. Now, being 100% honest, I have had a love-hate relationship with Whey before. I've received some samples of their shampoo, conditioner, and I think it is their scalp and body scrub. I received it from Sephora when I ordered some stuff. And to be honest, I really didn't like the way my hair felt after the shampoo and conditioner. And when I tried the scalp and body scrub, I felt like the beads were too big to be a scalp scrub. Like I feel like it really didn't do anything on my scalp, but I really liked it as a body scrub. So I've been kind of on the fence with the brand. So I decided to try this one. I ordered it from Nordstrom, it was $28. And I really like it. It is a heat protection spray. So you're probably wondering like, why did you order two heat protection products? So this one goes in wet hair and you blow dry it in. Once the blow dry heat hits this product, it, it's done its job, right? So if I were to go in with a flat iron, I have to reapply heat protection. So this one I really loved. It is a very fine mist, which is amazing. I don't like heat protection sprays because I feel like a lot of the time they're too heavy. They disperse too much liquid and your hair just becomes either very heavy or greasy and it's just too much. This one I used today before I flat ironed my hair and I loved it. It smells amazing. I love how fine the mist is. This was a holy grail for me. So I definitely recommend this if you're looking for a good heat protection spray, especially if you have finer hair. 
I think this will be amazing for you. So I think out of Tiffany's recommendations, my top two that I picked would be the Chanel Cleansing Oil and the Kerastase Blow Dry Milk. Both of these I just love so much. Um, I love the other products as well, except for the Tatcha Mask. But these two are just two products that I reach for all the time, especially the Chanel Cleansing Oil. I think it is so good and it makes your skin feel like ugh, amazing. I love it. So like always, I will leave links down in the description in case you wanted to explore any of these products further. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments which YouTuber I should do next for this little fun series. And with that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you all very soon. Bye you guys.